Hello everyone, Jasper Hagler here from vbolton.com and today I will show you how to back up your database using an SSH and Telnet client called PuTTY. And an SSH, according to Wikipedia, is a network protocol that allows data to be exchanged using a secure channel between two network devices. And PuTTY, on the other hand, is a terminal emulator application which can act as a client for the SSH, Telnet, R-Login, and RAW TCP computing protocols. And in order to back up your vBolton database via SSH or Telnet, you will uh, require two things. One, an SSH or Telnet access to your website. And to make sure you have access, uh, check with your hosting company and see if it's available. And the second requirement is the uh, PuTTY program. So to download the PuTTY, just go on Google and type in PuTTY Client Download. And uh, click on the first result. And you should be taken to the PuTTY download page. And here it will show you a number of versions you can download. And I would download... Uh, the putty.exe under the binaries for Windows uh, on uh, Intel x86. And uh, once you have these two requirements, we can begin. Okay, so first open your SSH and Telnet Putty client and log into your website. And as you can see, I'm already logged into my account. And I will be using my vBulletin test website as an example. And Note that the command line prompt will vary by operating systems, and for most hosting companies, this will bring you into the FTP root folder. So just type in the following to create a backup into the current directory. My SQL dump space dash dash OPT space dash capital Q space dash U space green four underscore DB user, which is my database username, and then space dash p space green four underscore database name, which is uh, my database name, and uh, and then space greater greater sign symbol space backup name dot SQL, which will be the name of the backup file. And um, remember to change the green4 underscore db user and uh, green4 underscore database name to your database username and database name. Then afterwards, after inputting you know all that text, just press enter and you will be prompted for the database password. So just enter it and the database will back up. And afterwards, you can download the database file from the directory by logging onto an FTP client. So, as you can see, the backup name.sql is in my root folder. So just download it to your computer, and that's it. So anyways, if you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please subscribe and check back for more. We will constantly add new videos to our channel. Enjoy!